Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from computergargar.com. This tutorial will look at using worksheet protection to improve the usability of a worksheet. Now on screen at the moment I have an expenses claim form. Typical form created in Excel that I would like all the users uh, within my company to be able to use and use it quickly and effectively. So to make it easier for them, I'm going to use worksheet protection. So this form acts just like a form you would find on the web or when you fill in an email. And you can just tab through each field very easily. At the moment, if I was to use it, every time I press tab, it will just jump in into C3, into D3, into E3. There's no need to be in E3. Tab again, I'm in F3. Press enter, I'm in B4. I don't want to be in B4. What I'd like to do is be able to jump from this field to this field, down to this field, to this field. Jump one into here because the total miles and the total due are being calculated using functions. There's no need to be in themselves uh, to input any data. <coughs> so let's go ahead and do this. Now before we protect our worksheet, we need to unlock the cells that we need the user to be able to change. By default, every single cell on a worksheet is already locked. So when you protect a worksheet, everything is protected and nothing can be changed. So let's unlock them first. I'm gonna click in cell B3, hold down my control key and click D3. Still holding control, I'll select A6 to A12, B6 to B12, D6 to D12. They are the cells I would like to unlock. And I'll go to the Home tab, Format button, and I'll unlock them cells by clicking the Lock Cell button. Just a little toggle so that will turn it off. Now with that done, I can go on to the next step, which is to protect the worksheet. Just click outside of them. I'll go to the Review tab, Protect Sheet. I'll put in a password for my protection. I could decide what the user can and cannot do in this sheet. It really is just data entry, so they shouldn't really have to do anything. Click on OK and repeat the password. And I should have a very usable worksheet. Let's have a look. Click in cell B3, and I might have to fill in my name. Alan Murray, tab, and I'm in D3, the division. I work in IT solutions. It's in the L of solutions there. The L key is a bit dodgy on this keyboard. Tab again, I'm in A6, ready for the date. Tab again, I'm in B6 to put in the office. Tab, it leaps to D6. Fantastic, it's my own car and the calculation is performed. Tab again and back to A7. So this is only allowing me to edit the fields that the user should edit, which is not only secure and it locks down your formulas, etc, etc. It vastly improves the usability of this Excel spreadsheet, makes it very user friendly. But even Excel novices will be more than happy to fill in this expenses claim form and to fill it in correctly. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out some other tips and tutorials at computergarga.com.